Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 89. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Okay, we're recording. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> My touch board just started working all of a sudden. I was like, ah, fuck. Um, so today, we're going to be starting off with the Class E World Tour. Um, this is going to be part of the professional series. Uh, and we're taking a Sion TC for this one. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I've, it, it's basically a front wheel drive car, but we've actually upgraded it with a uh, rear wheel drive drive train, train swap. So hopefully it's handling capabilities will be slightly better. Uh, we're going to be starting with Sedona Raceway, Amalfi Coast, Ladera Test Track. New York Circuit, Sunset Peninsula, Twin Ring Mategi. Mom, where, get the camera, I'm famous. That's actually pretty good. In Soviet Russia, the camera tell mom to get you. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that. Real wheel spin. Let's go. In Soviet Russia, there was no camera. <laughs> there was no camera, only nuclear missile. I'm going to have fun driving around four laps of this. In Soviet Russia, the Russia is Soviet. <laughs> ideal I've just absolutely fucking booted my PS5 meow <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell there goes the monster LS300 Lexus, second boss car from Need for Speed. Eee! Reading chat. You know I actually quite like um, the LS300. That's like, it's pretty much this car, but Lexus's version. Isn't it? Quite a boxy thing. But that one does come with like, uh, what's it called? Four wheel drive and all that. Stop taking the lines the Russians would take. You're not Mazepin. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, right? After M Mazepin gets a lot of hate because of his first season, because of how bad of a driver he was. Now I'll be honest. I think Mazepin didn't deserve the amount of hate he did after, like, he did do some good. He did try and fix his negative reputation. But at the end of the day, he was a shit driver. Yeah, and that, fair enough. Did he actually get caught for that? I thought it was just because he just posted on his Instagram of him grabbing some random woman's tit or something. I thought that's why everyone was fucking press. Which makes sense, but... <laughs> some woman's like it. Mm 
Nice. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. My name is Carlos Sainz. I am a driver for Ferrari. <laughs> I love that Conor Moore guy. He's fucking hilarious. Every single one of his like impressions that he does of Formula 1 drivers is just fucking top notch. Especially when he tries to do the Charles Leclerc one. Because everyone's just like... <laughs> he even knows he can't do Charles Leclerc. Press the DRS button 50 fucking times, it won't open. <laughs> yeah, like, um, going back to Mazepin, like, I really, the one thing I don't understand, I don't want to get, like, political and shit. But the one thing I don't understand, right? Mazepin knows that his dad is in very close quarters with Vladimir Putin, right? So why on earth would he go whinge into the internet like a spoiled four-year-old that just had, like, a chocolate bar taken out of his hand and just go, That's not fair, I want it! It's just it's strange, very strange. In Soviet Russia, the DRS button press you. <laughs> oh, I love that. Riverside, motherfucker, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day today in chat. Subtraction of your clothes, me and you. Got a date tonight. In Soviet Russia, the DRS button gets stolen from you. <laughs> I punched the human 50 fucking times, it won't die. <laughs> Zeno, I think you I think you need to go and seek professional help for that one. <laughs> I think I need professional help as well, learning how to fucking drive. Let's go. Your <laughs> third leg. <laughs> Hands, I'm glad you need the extra clarification, okay? <laughs> t -t 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 turn it up. T -t 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 turn it up. <laughs> yeah, if Hans is going to refer you to the right doctor <laughs> that he used for this problem, he needs to make sure you're on about the right problem. <laughs> Right, we've got one more lap to go. Shh, 
Spinala. Riverside, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know whether it's true. But uh, if it is true, then clearly we know the limit of how many times a human can masturbate before they actually fucking die. <laughs> 46 is fine, but 47 will kill you. <laughs> how angry must he have been, though? They have to do that 47 times. Fucking hell. I mean, hands, you use the word apparently and it's true in the same sentence. It means there's no guarantee that it's true. <laughs> Riverside. Let's go. Oh shit. Bollocks. Uh, that's not going on YouTube. No, it's gonna have to. Oi! Focus, fuck off. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? I think actually it was Miguelo that he got that clip on. That Lando Norris sung that. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? Bro just has to say what instead of what. What? 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 <laughs> I don't think the music's loud enough for me. I need it. I need more music. You what, mate? You fucking what? I'll fucking chef your blood. In it. In it, fam. You <laughs> fam alarm. <laughs> you want to get shift up, fam alarm ski. I think this beat has actually been in like 17 different songs. Because it is in that Friday then, and then, uh, what's not? Is the music quiet? Do I need to turn it up? There you go. Enjoy. Alright, we got a 10% discount on driveline upgrades. My heart has teeth, my dick has gills, then that's just fucking... <laughs> oh, it's fucking brilliant. This is one of my, um, sort of like top 10 Dead Mouse songs. Like, Dead Mouse will... Half of his songs are just like filler songs. But when he makes a good song, he makes a good song, and this is one of them. And it's fairly basic, but it... Slaps. Every time. And my feet have fingers. It must chew over the stress somehow. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Oh my god, 10 laps to the Amalfi Coast. You are fucking with me. My fingers have got fingers and palms. Apparently I'm terrible at driving around this track. Bittersweet. Have a look at the interior. Ooh. Interior is quite nice for this car. 
Can't see the ref counter, but who cares? I do think the interior camera of this game is a lot better than a lot of modern games can be. It has the right proportions when it comes to, like, the field of view and what you want. Because it looks like... Uh, I wasn't actually looking at the screen then. It looks like what eyes would look like. A lot of modern day sort of sim races will have the field of view of what a camera normally sees. So even though you get a little more out of the side window, you get a lot less out of the front windows of those games. So uh, I assume FM4 is pretty similar to this. So yeah, FM4 might be a bit better. I have to make that judgment when it comes to it. But driving this in interior camera on this game is pretty nice. But I like doing third person because people get to see the car more. So, when it comes to WRC though, uh, when we do the WRC playthrough, that will all be bonnet cam. I don't care what people say, it will all be bonnet cam. Uh, but for WRC 8 onwards, I think I'm actually doing wheel cam. Um, like on the videos as well like I'll figure out a way to set up a tripod with a camera something like that bonnet cam is the best cam when you need to focus but I mean if you look at bonnet cam in this game it's not that great it seems a bit low down WRC is angled slightly differently, where it sort of looks down on the bonnet a bit more. This looks like someone's just stuck a GoPro on the front of my car. So, I'll stick with this one. Yo, Tag, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Meanwhile, Gran Turismo having a roof cam that points to the bonnet. That is one of the best uh, camera views, I'll be perfectly honest. I think that is the best. Um, but yeah, would be nice to see... <laughs> what up, Tag? <laughs> Goddamn adverts. Yeah. The roof camera in Gran Turismo is my favourite camera. If if that roof camera was in uh, WRC, I think WRC would actually be a lot easier. Like me personally, I think WRC would suit a roof cam a lot more than just a bonnet cam. I think it needs to face down. The The angle that it faces down in Gran Turismo is just right. Um, it is quite extreme compared to other games when it has that kind of camera. But it is actually ideal. Um, especially when it comes to like close quarter racing. It basically gives you a full view of the entire front of your car. So you know exactly where you're placing your left wheel, your right wheel and all that it is ideal which that would be more ideal for a WRC game because you're on really narrow roads it's a little less important in Gran Turismo so I, I would like for WRC for obviously generations it's a bit late now but Codemasters has so much potential and if they do it right Yeah. Can you change field of view on Gran Turismo? Yeah. I get why it doesn't have field of view sliders. Because field of view um, on a flat screen ruins games. Visual. Like, a Call of Duty game looks shit as soon as you start doing field of view. Granted, it makes you better. But it looks terrible. 
Um, I think it's more the fact that they wouldn't want people to look at that game and think that looks terrible. Call of Duty's Call of Duty that gets away with it. Minecraft is Minecraft. People know what Minecraft is. They don't really care. But if you're looking at like Forza or Gran Turismo and they're trying to make a showpiece, like a visual showpiece, but then you look at someone's stream and it's like, oh, what's all this distorted shit? It's, it's not going to sell. Not at all. I wouldn't buy it. So, you know. It all depends on... Yeah, but at the end of the day, some games work with Field of View. Other games don't. Um, I'll be honest. Call of Duty looks alright when you put a tiny bit of Field of View adjustment. You can put a little bit either way and it still looks good. But if you put too much field of view adjustment, it just completely fucking ruins the game. Completely ruins it. Yeah, I suppose 90 is the normal field of view range. I'm going to get about 90 degrees that way, 90 degrees that way. That's why when you look at things like the Oculus... Um, when you play VR games, even though 90 degrees field of view doesn't sound like a lot for VR, it's perfectly fine because when it comes to gaming, everyone's used to like 90, 80, 75, smaller. So it is an enhanced viewing experience. That's why the field of view doesn't get a lot of shit on Oculus. Um, if it was the fact that 90 and 100 and 110 were the norm in video games. I can guarantee you a lot of people would give Oculus a lot of shit for their field of view. So, yeah. Bye bye, engine. Oh, I just hate being without you. It is just another thing to break through. Yeah. It would be nice to have the option. Um, but I don't see what they would be able to adjust that much, to be honest. Because when you think about it, if you do adjust it too much, everything becomes distorted. Um... I and mean, you look at Minecraft, Minecraft is the best example of how not to do field of view. Because as soon as you modify that, every single block in that game becomes, like, not a block. It looks fucking hideous. Do you think they will release a Meta Quest 3? Yes. They're going to make a Quest 3. Why wouldn't they? It's fucking... Like, if they don't release a Quest 3, they just, might as well just say, oh yeah, bye-bye to innovation. Yeah, we're not bothering pursuing Oculus anymore, or Meta as a brand. However, I do think they have to do a better job than what they did on the Quest Pro. The Quest Pro, obviously, is a mixed reality thing. They don't need mixed reality for a VR headset. So, the extra cameras wouldn't be necessary. However, I think for VR, I think when it comes to virtual reality games and stuff like that, I think the Oculus Quest 3 needs those um, blinders. I don't know what they're called. The things that block out the light on the side. I think the Quest 3 needs that as well. Um, because honestly, that idea is brilliant to be able to have like a headset and then just easily put it on you don't have to worry about your peripheral vision no worries Tack. thank you so much for stopping by um to have something like that would be fucking awesome but 
like, obviously for, like, maybe Beat Saber or stuff like that, games where peripheral vision isn't as important and immersion isn't as important. Um, but again, you have the option to have it fully immersive. That would be cool to have on the Quest 3. Um, wider field of view. Should be 120 hertz, 120 degree field of view for the next one. If they do any less than that, they're just wasted performance. The Index can do it. The PS5 can do it. And it's got to be 4K panels as well. OLED 4K. Like, there's no way they can't do that. Because it... Otherwise, the headset itself would have to be priced at under... $500. They would basically just be making another Quest 2. But with the name Quest 3. Uh, I'll get back onto that in a minute, Zeno. I'll, uh... Give you my opinions when it comes to the next recording clip. Do you know what I did see the other day? Right? Because obviously there is a shit ton of porn games on Steam. It's unreal. Like, I can be searching for something on... Here's the difference between searching for something on Steam. Like, on PC. And Steam Deck. So Steam gives you a result of, like, four or five apps. Pretty much the closest you can get to what you've searched in. And most of the time, doesn't search up any adult things. Steam Deck, on the other hand, searches the entire store. And it comes up with about 20 different results. So, I, I can't remember what I was searching up. I think it was Football Manager. Just as, like, an example of, like, the kind of shit that can run on the Steam Deck. Because I was showing someone something. And I kid you not, some of the results came up with, like, just from the letter F. There was, like, 17 different furry games that came up. <laughs> I'm, like, fucking joking. Like, it's unreal the amount of shit that's on Steam. But uh, one of the ones that got recommended to me the other day, so there's a game in my library called Hand Simulator. I've been gifted it as a joke. I've never played it, never touched it, touched it pun intended. Um, but I was gifted it. And because I owned this game, um, it obviously recommends me stuff from the developers. So they've obviously made, like, Hand Simulator. They've made some different versions of it. But it's still been pretty much the same. Until, like, a couple of days ago. They released literally... Yeah, I have heard of that game. <laughs> a couple of days ago, they literally released a uh, straight-up porn game. Called Hand Simulator something or whatnot. Sensual. It's fucking stupid. And obviously that comes up on my, like, recommended. Because the fact that I owned a game from that developer. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, with like a full body VR suit, that would be fucking ridiculous. It just would be weird. Um, but yeah, to go back to... How did we get from, like, VR to, like, porn games? <laughs> Uh, no, if we go back to uh, PSVR 2, I think the price is reasonable. I'll be honest. I think it should have been priced the same as the PS5. Just because a lot of people are like, it's more expensive than a PS5, oh my god! And because people who play games consoles are clueless idiots that have no clue about virtual reality because most of the time the only VR headset that they've ever used is a Quest and have never seen any other form of VR. So they'll either use PSVR if you're a console pleb <laughs> or you'll use a Quest. So um, the people who are getting uptight is like, oh, it's too expensive. Actually, the PSVR 2 is the best headset on the market at the moment, hands down. When you think of it, the headset... 
Um, the quality of the headset is like 4K OLED. 120 hertz. Fucking... 120 degree field of view or 110, I'm not sure what the exact number is. With full um, controller tracking. Yeah. No, PSVR will never work with PC. There is software that you can use um, to get stuff like that to work. But it's not ideal. It's definitely much better to use a uh, actual VR headset built for PC. Always is. Always will be. The original PSVR, yeah, is kind of terrible. But... It was a proof of concept, and it actually shows that... I mean, you think it proves how well systems could actually... I mean, you think Hitman 3 ran in VR on an old PS4. Like, an original PS4 could do Hitman VR, and it would be a pretty good frame rate. Because I've seen YouTube content on it, and it is pretty good. Granted, what you see in the headset is much lower than that, because, obviously... The displays in there aren't as good. But it's a good tech demo. Definitely. Honestly, the me the Quest 2, a lot of people get really uptight. I, I think it's just Zuckerberg haters, to be honest. Like, I, I don't like Mark Zuckerberg either. I think he's a bit of a dick. I think anyone that owns a big company and that, like... Elon Musk is a bit of a dick. Mark Zuckerberg's a bit of a dick. I think the only person that, like, Jeff Bezos, dick. The only person I think, like, that is pretty decent, that owns, like, big companies, is probably Bill Gates. He's one of the few people that I think actually is, like, a genuinely decent person. But at the same time, I think it's just people are like, Oh my god, I don't like Facebook. I don't like Mark Zuckerberg. They have all our data. Oh my god, we must hate them. It's just fucking stupid. It's the dumbest shit ever. Like, to be honest, the part about, oh yeah, Facebook has all our data, yeah, that's true. Facebook has a lot of our data, but do you know who else has all our data? Microsoft. Do you know who else has all our data? Bing. Do you know who else has all our data? Fucking Amazon. Do you know who else also has all our data? Google. Because guess what? The internet is pretty much owned by four companies. If you ever go on a website, it's either being run by Amazon or it's being run by Google. So as soon as you load a website, you're pretty much giving your data to one of the big companies anyways. The only way that they wouldn't be able to get your data is by not being on the internet. So, you know. But yeah, like, if you look past the fact that they have your data, which if you're on the internet, you shouldn't be worried about that anyways, because everyone steals your data on the internet. Um, yeah, the Quest 2 is a really good headset. Really good headset. But I get mine for free. But yeah, every company nowadays has all your data, so it does not matter. R 
rest in peace third gear. That's the only one I'm using at the moment. <laughs> Bah, 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 bongers. I think the music is probably too loud and it's coming through the YouTube recording, but who gives a fuck? Well, yeah, you gotta think though, if you wait for a quest three, that year that you've waited for the quest three, you could have been playing with a quest two. And especially if the Quest 3 comes out and it is more expensive than expected, you would have gotten a cheaper headset. But even then, the headsets have all had a $100 price hike anyways. Or £100 if you're in the UK. Like, my headset cost me 300 quid when I got it. They're now 400 quid for the same model. So... I think they are really good though. Like the Quest 2 as well. If you're a sim racer, I think the Quest 2 is the perfect headset. Because of the fact you don't have you don't have to have wires. Um, though if you do, it's only one connection point in the side. And there's no boxes like thingy. Yeah, that's the problem. If it's not being updated, that means the device pretty much dies out. Wolfie. You want a device to be constantly updated. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.